I'm Alex Phillips and I am the energy researcher for the yeah. Welshland Democrats in the National Centre for Wales. Uh, and this is um, the unveiling of the Delta Stream project, mm -hmm. um, a big day, we had the First Minister down here earlier. Mm -hmm. um, what's the Lib Dem take on um, marine renewables and um, uh, the potential for, for marine renewables to make a significant impact for Wales? Well I think it's, it's a huge impact and this project is a great example of that and the way we're pushing ahead in Wales. I know I've been uh, following this company quite closely for the last couple of years and uh, they've had a long battle to get through everything and get to this point but uh, this is the kind of project we want to see more of. I think as we go ahead by the middle to the end of this century I think we're going to be relying more and more on uh, marine renewables and they're quite popular with everybody and uh, although they've been hard to get through the initial stages as trailblazers often are, you know, I think this as we get um, more and more ahead with the project we're going to be seeing more like these across, across Welsh waters. And obviously the big thing at the moment is to ensure that Wales has the ability to take the decisions on projects like this and uh, that's where the Silk Commission comes in and um, the suggestion that we increase the limit is at the moment we can only consent up to one megawatt which um, is nothing. The full one of these would be 1.2 megawatts so um, we wouldn't even do for instance uh, consent a single large scale wind turbine at the moment which is obviously not good enough so hopefully when uh, Silk Part 2 is delivered we should um, get the powers that we need to take control of projects like this, offshore wind, tidal lagoons, all of them. We need to be uh, doing a mixed trade approach and marine is a key part of that.